Hey guys, I'm Sagar. With the iPhone 6 and 6s Plus, Apple introduced 3D Touch. In this video, we take a look at what 3D Touch actually is and some of its best features. According to Apple, 3D Touch is the next generation of multi-touch. Along with the familiar gestures like tapping and swiping on the screen, the new iPhones can now recognize the amount of force we apply on the screen. This allows us to use more gestures like peek and pop, about which we will talk in more detail in just a few moments. But this 3D Touch is not like long touch on the screen, which is still present and allows you to do things like rearranging or deleting your apps from the home screen. But with 3D Touch, you actually press on the screen and it senses various levels of pressure you apply. You can either apply slight pressure to peek into certain things and if you like what you see, then by continuing to apply pressure, you can jump right into that particular thing. And if not, then just let your finger go and you are back to the previous screen without having to press the return or back button. Now that we know what 3D touch is, let's see what all we can do with this amazing new technology. The first thing to know is that you can turn this feature on or off by going into settings, general, accessibility, and 3D touch. If you choose to turn on this feature, then you can even control the 3D touch sensitivity. This basically means the amount of pressure needed to activate 3D touch. You can change this according to your liking. I have mine set on light so that I don't have to press very hard on the screen to activate the 3D touch gestures. Next is peak and pop. You can apply little pressure on a certain email, message, photo or a link and you get a peek into it. It's like a preview of that particular thing. If it interests you, then you can apply even more pressure and you pop into that particular email, message, photo or link. Alternatively, if you don't want to get into that particular thing at the moment, then just lift your finger and you will be back into the previous key. It saves you the hassle of reaching for the back button, which according to me saves you a lot of time if you do this many times a day. These peak and pop features work consistently across iOS 9, especially within all Apple apps. Some third-party applications like Instagram and WhatsApp have already started taking advantage of these features, and many more will be joining this list very soon. Another thing which is new to the iPhone 6s and 6s Plus are the live photos. If you have live photos turned on, then the camera basically records a video of 1.5 seconds before and after the actual picture. The only way to view these live photos on your iPhone is by applying pressure on these images. You can even set these live photos as lock screen wallpapers or choose from stock live wallpapers which are available for the lock screen on these new iPhones. And by applying pressure on the lock screen, you can actually see these images animate. You can now switch between apps or open multitasking menu without double tapping the home button. All you have to do is apply a little pressure on the left edge of the screen and it shows you all the open applications. If you quickly need to switch to the previous app, apply pressure on the left edge of the screen and swipe your finger all the way to the right. And just like that, you go to your previous app. You will need a little bit of time to get used to this particular gesture, but this saves you a bit of time and you don't have to reach for the home button every time you need to switch between apps. This is especially helpful for the iPhone 6s Plus users as it makes navigating through the huge phone a bit easier. 3D Touch works on the home screen, giving you quick actions or shortcuts to the things which you frequently do. Many third-party apps along with Apple's own apps take advantage of this feature. From these shortcuts, you can quickly perform particular tasks. Take camera app for example. Normally, if you have to take a selfie, you have to open the camera app, press the camera rotate switch and then take a picture. Or if you need to quickly record a video, you have to open the camera app, then slide to the video or slow-mo tab and then take the video. But with these shortcuts, you just apply a bit of pressure on the camera icon and jump right into the selfie, video or slow-mo mode. Applying pressure on the photos app gives you option to view the most recent photo or favorite photos. Doing the same on contacts gives you option to create a new contact or view your own information. Many third-party applications like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp have added support for the 3D Touch quick actions on the home screen. 
For the apps that do not support this feature, you just get a long haptic feedback which means that the particular app has no support for 3D touch. Another use for 3D touch is inside the camera app. You can press hard on the recent image icon and it shows you bigger preview of that image. You can scrub through all recent images without lifting your finger and continue pressing hard to view a particular image. Or if you are satisfied with the image then just let your finger loose and you are back to the camera app for taking another picture. The iPhone 6s and 6s plus have trackpads built into their keyboard. Normally to go to a particular character or to select a particular word you have to tap and hold that character, wait for the little magnifier to appear and then scrub to the character which you want to edit. Now all you have to do is apply some pressure anywhere on the keyboard and the whole keyboard turns into a trackpad which makes it easier to scrub to a particular character and if you have to select a particular word or a sentence just continue pressing harder and move your finger across the area which you want to highlight. It's just that simple. While you are in the music app you can use 3D touch on a particular album or a playlist to view the songs in it. If that album or playlist is the one you want to listen to then just press harder and it pops on the screen and you can play the songs which you like. I really like the peak feature because you can preview a particular thing and return to the previous screen without having to press the return or back key. Similarly, I like the quick actions on the shortcuts that the camera icon provide on the home screen. The touch ID on these new iPhones is so fast that we hardly ever see the lock screen unless we press the power button to wake the phone. And hence, we cannot use the small camera icon on the lower right side of the lock screen to launch the camera app. So the quick action menu on the camera app comes in very handy when you want to take a quick photo, selfie or a video. These are some of the features and tips to help you use 3D touch on the new iPhones. I have tried to cover all major uses of 3D touch. If I have missed any of the major feature or if you know some more tips and tricks about 3D touch then please do not hesitate to let us know in the comment section. This technology is new and I see a lot of potential for it in the future as the developers start taking advantage of it. That is it for this video guys. Please hit the like button if this video helped you and also subscribe to my channel for more informative videos like this. You can also check out some of the other videos on my channel. This is Sagar and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.